Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. If my kids heard me singing on live, they would give me so many rolling eye motions, they'd be so upset. But good morning, good morning. Today is day 31 of my cleanse. Yes, 31. Yes, because I'm going to keep counting up. Good morning. So I am excited. I'm going to do my kidney liver flush. And then, hi, Amber. Um, hi, Poetic uh, Red Star. Um, I'll be doing my kidney liver flush and then get started with my day. Tomorrow, good morning. I promise I will cover the benefits of extra virgin olive oil. I just need to sit down, take some notes, get all my thoughts together, and be able to present it to you live tomorrow. But I promise I will do it this week. But for today, we're gonna do the norm of making the kidney liver flush, which is still making my body feel so amazing. Um, I think I told you guys that I worked out on Monday and I survived the whole workout, which is epic for me because with my adrenals, sometimes my body tends to want to crash. So I had no crashing effect, which is exciting. Every little baby step is amazing. During my workout, my daughter was like, mom, push it to the next level, push it to the next level. Um, she kept saying, push it to the next level. I said, listen, my mentality right now is doing everything in baby steps. It's not a race. I'm not trying to lift 20 pounds of bicep curls like I used to. If I do five pounds, I'm happy I can do that five pounds. If that means doing two, I do two and work my way up. My whole mentality has changed about everything. Everything is baby steps. We try so hard to do everything fast. We want to lose weight fast. We want to change our body fast. We want our hair to miraculously grow fast. We want our skin to, to heal fast. No, it's all in the journey. It's all in the baby steps. Amber, I'm making the kidney liver flush drink. I am on day 31 of making this drink. It helps cleanse out your filtration system in your body, which is your kidney and your liver. It also helps with um, detoxing your skin. It helps to detox your scalp. It helps to detox your body. It helps to um, purge things that are in your body. For some, they notice that they've had parasites. So that's what I'm making today, the kidney liver flush. So I'm going to start with a dash of cayenne pepper. And I'm just going to, well, let me just make all three drinks because when I try to separate it, I forget. So cayenne pepper is for circulation. Lemon is for exfoliation it exfoliates the inside of your tissues and your organs so lemon we only need half a lemon for each cup i keep saying i'm gonna buy that lemon squeezer but i keep forgetting so half a lemon and at night you can actually use the lemon on your face to exfoliate your skin it also helps to brighten your skin so you can definitely use that. Half a lemon. Again, lemon is for exfoliation. Damar, I wish you were here making your drink. Okay, the next ingredient is apple cider vinegar. Good morning. Remember that apple cider vinegar is very acidic and you should be drinking this drink 30 minutes before you brush your teeth especially if this drink is going to be for the long haul you don't want to affect the enamel of your teeth so please drink this while you have a ton of bacteria in your mouth that's why you you drink it before you brush your teeth so that the bacteria bacteria can protect your teeth good morning guys for me I have to drink it in a shot and I know I say it every day but we always have somebody new watching you have to dilute it. Never drink apple cider vinegar straight. It will burn on its way down and you don't want that. So here's to apple cider vinegar. I take mine on the side so it doesn't touch my teeth at all. 
So apple cider vinegar, I put it for my daughter in her cup, a tablespoon of honey or agave for sweet sensation. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's what I get for trying to sing. Cup fill. So one tablespoon of that. And then one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which helps with a smooth sensation. You do not want to be detoxing your body and get stuck on your throne. So you need the extra virgin olive oil to help with a smooth sensation. And if you join me live tomorrow, as I already stated, I'm going to go over the benefits of extra virgin olive oil for your body, skin, and hair. So that you know when you're using an ingredient, not only do you know how it will affect the body, but then you learn different ways of how to use it for your skin and hair. If you didn't know, you some people do not know, you could put lemon on your face to exfoliate your face. Now what I realized with me, because my, my face tend to be dry, when I put lemon directly on my face and exfoliate, it irritates my skin. So be mindful of that. If you take the lemon, first of all, your skin needs to be clean. Can I use coconut oil in the drink? Yes, you can. You can substitute the extra virgin olive oil for coconut oil. Yes, you can. If you use lemon on your face, here are a few things you need to know. One, it exfoliates your skin. Two, it helps to diminish dark spots, which is good. So what you do, you wash your face first with your cleanser. And if you're one of my customers, you're using the pine tar soap, which is very amazing, or the spinach, or the turmeric soap. And then um, you rinse the soap off, and you apply the lemon on your face in a circular motion. Leave it for three to four minutes. If it feels really tingly and like it's getting really, really tight, you may wash it off, especially if you have dry skin because what it does is it also pulls the toxins from your skin. So if your skin is dry, it may be too much for your skin. Be sure, this is the number one tip you need to walk away with. So if you don't listen to anything, listen to this. Please, if you're using lemon on your face to exfoliate your face, do not go out in the sun after. The lemon, the acid in the lemon could cause your skin to burn if you put the lemon on your face. Granted, you're still washing it off after, but being exposed to the sun, I forgot the name of that particular, um, that particular um, photosensitivity, not photosensitivity, it's photo something. Be sure you do it at night and not during the day. Again, if you're exfoliating your face with lemon, do it at night and not during the day. You don't want to exfoliate your skin with lemon, go out in the sun, and come back with sunburn. It's not going to be nice. Basically, what you've caused is acid burn to your face, and you don't want to do that. Whether it's your body, whether it's your skin, if you're using Hi Gabby, I sent your order yesterday, so thank you for ordering. Please keep me posted on how you like your products. So if you're using lemon on your face, please be sure that you use it at night. Okay, guys. Oh, let me finish my drink. So for me, I have cayenne pepper, lemon. I drink my apple cider vinegar. I have my water. I don't do the sweetener. I'm going to do extra virgin olive oil for a smooth sensation. You see, I get to talking and then I forgot I need to finish my drink. And then I'm going to add for myself Dimitatious Earth. And if you, well, you know what? One day I'll cover all the benefits for Dimitatious Earth too. So Diatomaceous Earth, which is a clay, which helps pull the toxins from your organs also and purges it out. If you have issue with parasites, this is a good clay to use for parasites. Diatomaceous earth. Definitely want to be sure that everything you ingest is food grade. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close off. Um, oh, I have a question. Does it have to be sweet coconut oil? I'm sorry if I'm asking too many questions. No, you're not asking too many questions. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by sweet coconut oil. 
Um, I know there's regular coconut oil. Uh, let's see if I have one here. So I have organic cold press coconut oil. This one is from Walmart. So I have organic cold press coconut oil, but I don't know of any sweet coconut oil. I've never heard of sweet coconut oil unless the coconut oil that they sell already has maybe agave or honey in it. So I've never heard of just sweet coconut oil. Now, unless the company that you're ordering the coconut oil from adds an additive to make it sweet, I'm not familiar with sweet coconut oil, but I will tell you, you don't want to have any sweet coconut oil when you already have apple cider vinegar or agave in your detox drink. Um, be sure you don't have anything extra. You want to have the basic, pure, simple ingredient. You don't want anything that has anything extra because that defeats the purpose. If you have a sweet coconut oil and then you add honey or agave, one, we don't know what they use to make that coconut oil sweet. It could be sugar. You don't want sugar in this drink. You want pure honey, pure raw organic agave, and that's it. So if you have a coconut oil that's sweetened, don't use it. Use pure um, coconut oil that is um, unrefined. You want the freshest of the freshest in your drink. Remember, you're using this to detox your body. So it's cleansing your body. So that means the ingredients in this drink is infusing in all areas of your body. You want everything in this drink to be as pure as possible. Like Doriel says, you want to be interactive with your food. Don't use lemon juice from a bottle. Squeeze the lemon from with, you know, the, the live lemon. You want to be sure everything that goes in is live. So get pure coconut oil. No, that's no problem that you asked that question. I appreciate it because your question, somebody could be watching on a replay and have the same question. So guys, a few church announcements. Monday night, May 21st, is the last of my spring detox series, which we're doing part two of Detox the Hair. So you'll see us doing something with our hair on live. Please join us, share with friends. People are always People are always wanting to know what they can do with their hair. So please be sure that uh, you join us. Also, uh, you could follow my journey on YouTube. My name is Donata Skin Food on YouTube. You can follow my journey. And last but not least, you can subscribe to my... Good morning. You can subscribe to my emails and get the emails that I try to send out once a week. I'm trying to do better. But in the meantime, please share with your loved ones, your family, and friends. Because with that, we can help everybody in our environment detox. And when you detox and you feel good about yourself, guess what happened? You're much nicer to your loved ones and your friends and family. So definitely share my information on Instagram. You can share my live stream, if I'm not mistaken, and just tag people on it on Facebook. All you have to do is click share, and it will share with everyone. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Have an amazing day, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless. Bye.